Rahul Sharma. I am MKR marketing person from Team India. So I have got few slides for you, basic introduction for Prospero before we go into the details. We have got some hardwired things, hardware controller, hardware router, call stations, extension keypads, media player and everything. What we are doing in Prospero, we are putting all these together in the mind and we have cooked a very nice recipe. Actually before lunch I am giving you a flavor. So this is a nice recipe and we have discovered a Prospero. Next, what we have, this is the basic connectivity of Prospero. How does it work? It has got five devices and one software. If you can see one call station, digital call station, it has got a touch screen display, seven inches touch screen display. It has got two audio modules, black color modules on the left hand side. If you see, those are one, two modules. One is one channel, another one is two channel. Then we have got two very beautiful white color speakers. Those are indoor speakers. One is active with built-in speaker amplifier of 30 watt and another one is passive one. So the big thing is all these are connected on the same PoE switch and here the PoE switch is representing the network. So what does it mean? All the Prospero devices all together should be connected on the same network and then it will work properly. This is basic architecture. Once we will go to the demo part, then it will be more clear. Let's go to the devices one by one. The very first thing is we have got a call station. Model number is PRPCST. Till now, everything was analog. There was no display. But because of the requirement from the market, we have given a touchscreen display. Another part is we have got a very powerful yet compact controller in a flash drive form. This is the controller. Then we have got two audio modules. One is two channel. One is single channel. The basic task of these modules is to convert digital signal, whatever we are receiving from the call station or the software, it converts into the analog form. And then we have the last part that is indoor speakers. We have especially designed some speakers for the indoor purpose. What is that? We have put one audio module in there. One I put one amplifier, one I put some offline operations and finally we have discovered one room speaker. How does it look? You see this is very nice wooden body IP speakers. First one is IP speaker, it is 15 watt, it has got 15 watt power but built in 15 watt into 2 that means 30 watt amplifier and the another one is passive speaker. So this is all for uh, Prospero family members. This is our 7 inches touch screen display call station. It is actually very powerful. So first thing is we can we can play the pre-recorded messages. Unlike our Presenza or other other PA system, here we are giving you the liberty to use the most powerful audio files like MP3. There is no limitations for WAV format. You can directly play your MP3 files from message. And uh, uh, voice live calling is also possible. You can just click on the voice, select the zones, any of the zones if you want to say. For example, I want to speak on zone one. I have created three zones. First one is from two, first module, two channel module. Another one is from one channel module. Then when I have a speaker, IP speaker, I want to announce something. I will simply press and it will go. Hello, hello, hello. 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 So this is the beauty of this switch, either you can use it as a PTT, like press to talk, I have selected the zone, I am continuously pressing it and I can speak it that way. Hello, Hello this is the use of PTT switch, right now it is programmed as PTT. Then there is one more feature from this call station, it is monitoring. For example, you are installing this system in a school or maybe in a hospital and you want to check whatever uh, the zones are busy that you can check it from here monitor button and if there is some zone that is occupied you can check it from here and not only you can check the zone is occupied or free you can also listen whatever is being announced in the zone for example some message is given on a zone you can listen it from the monitor speaker Thank you. And then we have a fault log option. Till now it was not available in our distribution range. So whatever is a fault available in the system, you can easily say this module is offline. So all the devices, those are connected and but not working, you can see it here. Okay, then we have this safety feature. We have got a red button. Just remove it and you can do the emergency calling from here also. The whole system will go into the emergency mode.
Please be aware that smoking is only allowed in designated areas. Please be aware that smoking is only allowed in. And, and uh, apart from that, we have got one very good future. For example, you have some messages. Those are already available here. You can play it anywhere. That is fine. You can do the live calling in any zone. It is again fine thing. But instantly, if you have got some MP3 file in your mobile phone or somewhere, you can directly connect it to the this board. Attach a device, maybe mobile phone, maybe external media player through one 3.5 mm jack and you can directly play on the counterpart one device was call station then we have got one audio module this is the back portion of audio module front i have given you in the presentation so what it is doing whatever command i am giving it from the call station or from the call station and this software it is converting it into the digital uh, sorry analog signal so it converts digital to analog then we have got two channel module why two channel module because still now in one channel module it was converting only digital signal to analog but here it is possible not only to convert digital to analog from port 2 but it is also possible to convert analog signal to digital one on this port 1 you can connect any of a line source give the analog signal it will convert your analog signal to digital one and broadcast on the given zone third port is trigger input it has got two trigger inputs you can integrate with fire alarm, you can integrate with push button, panic button anywhere. And then we have got two trigger outputs as well. In case of emergency, these trigger outputs activate and then you can take the message out and you can use this. So this has four things, two trigger, two trigger input, one is line analog, one is trigger input and it has got two output ports, one is digital out and one is trigger out. And then we have very interesting thing, this is our indoor classroom speaker indoor ip speaker basically we are promoting it in classrooms so what it has got it has got uh, uh, this lane cable connected that means whatever digital signal we are giving from the college station or to the software it is coming here and then it has got two line inputs that means you can connect it to your television like this big screen is there you can connect it to the television or to the any other screen it has another line input you can connect your microphone through it that makes it a very ideal product for the classrooms okay so these are the devices we are working now i will show you some amazing gui initial thing when we download the software from our website and we plug in the dongle this is our software and then this is how it appears this is our front gui front page but message is like whatever we were playing through the call station like i have to create a message I have three zones. I want to select a zone one. It is fine. I want to play some message. Message is here. I want to play this message on this zone. Simply select and play. Oh, it is playing. Due to an emergency, it is necessary to have. So this way we can play any message to any zone. It is our in control. Then the second thing is schedule broadcast. But when it comes to Prospero, we have given a built-in message timer, schedule broadcast. So if we open this, so what we can do with this, we can select when it is to be played, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. What time it should be played, the time we can select. What message should be played, we can select from there and which location it should be played that also can be selected another feature is monitor we just saw this monitoring feature in the call station it is again possible through the software if you want to check which zone is busy which zone is free that you can monitor from here right now no zone is busy if we want to check this feature let me just make an announcement from call station i'm making announcement now my zone one is busy and if i want to check what is happening i will go to the monitor and now it will show me oh zone one is busy and what is being played i can hear from here either i can put a headphone to the laptop or i can use laptop's speaker as well i can listen what is being played and then we have got system log we have a huge history here and you can export this for last six months so you have a huge history for last six months you can download which time you made the message you, which time you made a live call, which time you made a schedule broadcast, everything is visible under this system log. Now we will talk about dashboard first. 
dashboard will give you the flavor of whatever is happening to do task for now is zero we have not planned any event then executed task is 53 number of faults is zero there is no fault online devices are four and offline device is zero so we will go to the system management part now here a lot of things to play around first thing is user management we will discuss this later group management is important for example i have created three zones till now but i am crazy i want to make the group there should be something like group uh, i will make it group one i can keep more than one one zones here zone let me just keep this small IP speaker and two zones, these two zones. I have created it, right click, sorry. So now it is group one. So if I want to broadcast something, till now what I am doing, I was selecting individual zone. But now if I want to do something, I will make a call to the zone. So this group and it will go to the both. The thing. Or if we want to play a message, we can just go to the message, create group one that we can select the group we can play the message and we can play now the volume is coming from both the devices right attention please due to an emergency fine so then we have device management under device management you can control the volume control the ip of the devices and upgrade software of the system software of the devices that is fine then it is media library Till now, we have some kind of limitation with all the system. Like Plana has got built-in memory of 16 MB. But when it comes to Prospero, there is no limitation for messages. Your system's inbuilt memory is the system's is Prospero's memory. Then predefined task is again the same thing. We can create the list for music. We can create the list for message, PTT, and emergency list. We can create here. And then we come to user management part that we left that time. User management is like right now I am admin. I can control anything. So I can create n number of secondary users and I can control their powers as well. Fine. These are the basic features. See if any question we have got uh, that is welcome. Otherwise, this was from Postparo. Âm thanh của bạn, sứ mệnh của chúng tôi.